Up. I need to go. Come on, Vegeta. You're not done already, are you? Whis wanted to visit with Bulma again. If I want him to keep training me, I have to catch him before he runs off again. Man, no fair. I want to train some more, though. You should join us, Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the thought? Shut up! If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look! I can't help but wonder, that child behind you, is that your son? He, he's not! Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what if he does? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just borrow your son for a while so you can think over my offer. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! We <laughs>
If you want your little brat returned safely, Kakarot, prove your Saiyan spirit. Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. And let me be very clear about this. If I come back and I don't see a hundred corpses, I kill the kid. doing here I was pursuing him and as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself the sad truth is I have a better shot at that if you were along for the ride hold on you mean team up with me why in the world would you ever do that don't get the wrong idea this would just be a temporary alliance only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet once that purpose has been served I'll keep my promise to crush you then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh, uh, of course. Let's go. Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this, but you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. Special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. Take a 
Goodbye, Kakarot! What the? Power level 1307? Don't hurt my dad! Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again? In the next world? What? You little... P Piccolo! Your attack! Do it now! Ah, are you insane? Maybe, but... It's the only way to beat you! Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No! Stop! Special Beam Cannon! On this planet, we have these things called the Dragon Balls. Gather all seven, and together they have the power to grant any wish, even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. The, the other two Saiyans... When... when will they arrive here? How long? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> How's it feel, seeing your little friend's corpses scattered all over? There was another one, but there's probably not a scrap of him left. Piccolo's gone. What, you gonna throw a fit, small fry? Go right ahead. <laughs> that stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. You'll pay for this! You'll both pay! You bastards! Out of my way! Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? That scouter's a piece of junk! It's gotta be a mistake! Doesn't matter. A little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa! I'm not done yet. Over here. Out of my way. Get ready to see the real super body. Don't fail me now. Out of my way. I'm not done yet. 
Vegeta! Vegeta! Ah! I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan! You're dead white! Vegeta! He's a psycho! He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason! Both of you need to get back to Kame House where it's safe! No, he's right. You saw what that other Saiyan can do. If we stick around, we'll only be getting in your dad's way. Sorry, Gohan. This guy's stronger than I thought he'd be. We've lost enough. I can't lose you two either. Okay. I understand, Dad. Let's finish this someplace else. Fine by me. Makes no difference. Okay, this spot should do. From what I can tell, there's no people or animals nearby. Interesting. Of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your grave site. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum whose scores are ranked the lowest are sent to the outer worlds, where the opponents are weak. Much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Yes, and as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. 
Besides, even a lower-class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his mind to it. <laughs> That's a nice attempt at a joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone! Open and mix! Huh? What was that? What are you planning? You really should have never gotten rid of your tail, Kakarot. But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of. Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger. I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong. I'm going back there! Go on, hold up! I'm going too! Wait! <laughs> 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 
Don't blink, Kakarot. These will be your final moments before I crush you! A am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? <sighs> Since when were we dealing with a hundred foot tall monster? Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the Earth and make a spirit bomb! the tournament arena all all of that was was me i owe this to you friends i need to beat this guy no matter what I, i'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory if i die i'll see you in the next world at least i'll get to apologize to you Total focus to use the spirit bomb. It'll only take about 10 seconds. Come on, give me just 10 lousy seconds to concentrate! I think I put enough distance between us.
consider that a little farewell present. They don't have the strength to lift a finger. So just do what you're gonna do to me, all right? Take your best shot. Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you leave a scar on my beautiful face! Just for that, I'm going to crush you like a grape! <laughs> Why don't I kick it up a notch? <laughs> What's that I hear? Every bone in your body breaking? Must hurt. <laughs> I think your friends are here. How quaint. Choice now. Take this. Ha! <gasps> Bounce it back, Gohan. I promise it won't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> 